come today expecting something from the Lord? How many of you come today expecting something from the Lord? Amen. If you didn't come expecting, that means you didn't come for the right reason. Praise God. You must come to receive from the Lord. Can I get an amen in God's house? Praise him. Come to receive from him. Praise God. We need to, as believers, especially us, to be Continue to be confident in the word of God. Continue to know that God will do what he said he will do in his word. Can I get that witness? Amen. We know that in him we live, we move, and we have our being. Praise God. Woo! We got to be patient. Patience, they always say the virtue, but I'm going to say this. Patience is knowing and knowing the word of God will come to pass. Amen. Regardless how you might have pains in your body, how you may be sick, you still know the word of God is true. You still confess your healing scriptures. Can I get a praise God? You still confess to the devil that great is he that's in me, that he that is in the world. Praise the Lord. Woo! We got to be confident. Amen. Praise to God. I thank you. I'm telling you, as we cross over, I, the thought came to me, and probably some of you have, and I'm sure you have. The thought is New Year's resolution. Did I have witness? Anybody thought about a New Year's resolution? It's of the flesh most of the time. People make a resolution that I'm going to quit smoking the first day of January. <laughs> I'm going to quit drinking the first day of January. I'm going to get on that treadmill. I'm going to run, run, and run. I'm expecting to lose 15 pounds right now. <laughs> You know the flesh is no good, amen. There's no good things in the flesh. How I many you know the flesh stinks? It's rotten. As my former pastor used to say, it's rotten. <laughs> and I have to have remember remembrance of Pastor John, amen, where he used to say things. I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming off of him, amen, off that tree, amen. I'm, I'm living off of that, praise God. Because people always want to make a resolution. They always want to get in your face, try to what impress you. That they're going to make great big leaps and bounds this year. Oh, man. They're going to go and they say, I'm going to clean my house out as the, uh -uh, as the first of the year. One week go by. I ain't seen no broom move yet. I ain't seen no stuff move you out of your house. Second week, where you at? I don't see you. <laughs> and so on. But in the sixth month, they realized, oh, I made a fool of myself. And said, man, I said this, and God heard me. But God already know you're going to lie anyway. So we can't fool him. Amen? Praise God. So many people make resolutions, but they need to do this. Get a new revelation through the word of God. Amen? A word of God that will help you in your condition right now. Sometimes you can't wait until tomorrow. You need help right now. Can I get a praise God? You ought to call on him right now. How many of you expecting to move? A mighty move this year in your life. Amen. This is in the spirit. Amen. Praise God. They're all kind of resolutions. I'm going to clean my car up so good that the sun hit it and it's shining and blind you. But you see them the next few days, the car has got so much dirt on it. You think they can grow plants on it. The interior in the car is so filthy that insects are crawling in there. And that is a shame, shame, shame. Amen. <laughs> but we cannot be in the flesh in these things no more. We got to start to grow up a little, farther, a little higher than that. We got to grow up and we got to start manifesting now. Let the word of God dwell in us richly to a point. That we can see growth right now. Amen? Right. Growth right now. We don't need to wait till tomorrow. We need to see a change right now. Can I get a praise God? Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need it. 
that quit that Tessa lying instead of testifying. <laughs> I had a message on that before I ain't came yet. Testifying and Tessa lying. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Praise God. Let's go into the word of God. Praise God. Go over in first Luke. I mean, Luke, the first chapter. Praise him. <laughs> This is the word of God right here. And I know it is true. I'm convinced that the word of God will not lie. I don't care how people try to criticize how you speak the word of God. I'm going to keep on speaking the word of God. I might sound funny to you, but I sound good to God. Because God's word come forth. God loves to hear his word. Can I get a praise God? That's what sounds good. God loves you to quote his scripture back to him. Amen. This right here. And it's true. Amen. Praise God. And in the name of our subject is, you remember last year, my last message, an outstanding announcement part two. An outstanding announcement. Praise God. And now you go over in first Luke and stay right there for a minute until I get fired up here. <laughs> Praise him. I rejoice today because of Jesus Christ. And people say, that's dull. You were just preaching Jesus. Yeah, because he's my savior. Because he loved me so much that he gave his life for me. I was on my way to hell, people. I had to wake up. And realize, how I many of you know it's time for the people to wake up and know why Jesus came into the world. And you heard this in the last message, praise God. But I will say it again because it needs to be heard. Amen? Praise God. And then, you know, I know there are so many angels out there. Flap your wings, angels, that are living right every day. <laughs> I know there's so many angels, people got wings on their living holy. They think they are. And they are doing earth no good. So we rejoice today. Praise God. And outstanding announcement because of Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, and our focus must be on Jesus. Amen. Because he made it possible for us to be here today. Praise God. Mm. Praise him. Let's go over the scripture. Praise him. I ain't going to hold you up too long. I will start with verse 34. I think we stopped off the last time. Around verse 34 of St. Luke, the first chapter. Praise God. We'll just read through verse 38, but the real message will start in verse 39. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you. Got your time to get there. Someone said, praise God if you're there. Praise him. Yeah. Then said Mary unto the angel. How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing, that one thing, holy me one, which shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. And I rejoice because of this very fact <laughs> that Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Look at verse 36. And behold, look, thou cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was barren. And we see in verse 36 that Zacharias and Elizabeth was in the old stages. <laughs> in the elderly stage where people will say, you got to be kidding me. How can you bring forth fruit, a baby in this age? But the scripture plainly tell us that there is nothing impossible for God. Amen. 
But all things are not possible with us, praise God. But with him, woo, my Jesus, help me. There's nothing impossible, praise God. And I want to tell you just a, a little bit of history, I think. And Elizabeth was from the tribe of Levi. And Joseph and Mary was from the tribe of Judah. Just a little bit thrown in there. Praise God. Read verse 37. Praise God. Let me flip the page. For with God, nothing is impossible. And Mary said, Behold, look, the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed. And you know this was Gabriel was a what? A angel, a messenger angel, amen? That brought a message from the very presence of God. Can I get a hallelujah? Which is a higher praise. Get your hands up and praise him. From the very presence, God sent him on a, an angel on a mission, praise God, to go down and talk to a handmaiden that... She probably thought she was a nobody. And you know, they, they look down on handmaidens like you ain't nothing but a slave. But we see right here that God can use anybody that he will. Amen? As we move on down, praise him. And Mary said this very important quotation. Let it be unto me. Be it unto me according to your word. Amen? And how many of you will say that today? Let it be according to your word. But you know one thing, this flesh stinks so bad, it want to buck against you. You know the flesh will buck against the word of God, amen? It does, it does not want to obey the word of God. The flesh do not want to pray. How many of you know you're a witness out here? That when you begin to get down on your knees and pray, how many of you have been a witness? That the enemy will bring all kind of thoughts your way. Try to make you get up <laughs> off your knees. Can I get up? Praise God. Every thought will come at you. Oh, I left my spaghetti on the stove. <laughs> that roast that I thought I was going to have, I better get down there now before it burn up. See, things like this he used, see, to, to, to throw you off. Amen. Praise God. But we must listen to the Lord's voice. Amen. The outstanding announcement is that Jesus came on the scene to save us from all of this. Praise God. Woo! And I feel like shouting, but I better be still. Woo! I feel something. Praise God. Oh, let me shun me. Because of she saying, be it unto me. According to your word. That's when the angel left. Amen. All God wants from us sometimes is to be in faith. And he will just leave us and say, oh, I know they're going to do it now. Because they are in faith right now. They are in trust. They know my word. They are going to obey my word. I know they're going to do it because they are my sons. Amen. God knows who will obey the word and who will not. We can't fool him. He knows who's going to be in the house of God today. And who was not. He knows those that will obey his word. And those that will not. Amen. Praise God. And so people are always trying to in their little pea picking brain. Think they're higher than God. But we have seen in history. Where God had brought down kings. Praise God. He brought them down to nothing. People that thought they were something. Their pride began to what? Destroy them. Because pride. Come before destruction in a haughty spirit before he fall. Amen. Praise God. Verse 39. And Mary arose in those days back in the day and went into the hill country with haste. She was in a hurry. Into a city of Judah. Praise God. How many of you know it was it was an urgency on her to be in a hurry? Amen. Because she had to go deliver a message to a cousin, amen, to a relation. How I many of you know, sometimes you try to go to deliver your relations, some of your people in your family, they don't want to hear you. They say, what are you coming over here for? You ain't got no business over here. Didn't I tell you not to come over here? They, I don't care if you look like you got fire coming out of your mouth. 
Like you got thunder coming out of you and the word of God, like it's just coming out like this. And they still won't listen because they hard is hard. Amen. Because they don't want to hear what thus said the Lord. Amen. But you must do one thing. Shake off the dust. Off your feet against them. For a testimony against them. Amen. It ain't on you no more when you have delivered what thus said the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And you speak it regardless if they won't hear it or not. Amen. Oh, we've been through some tests when our witnesses out there. And I tell you, you got to be careful. When our witnesses, you can witness to a degree. Amen. And be a true witness on the anointing only. I say to you today, be a witness under the anointing only. When God has sent you only, if you go on your own, the devil will tear you asunder. He will bring weapons against you. Amen. Because you know why? You went in your flesh. You did not obey God's voice. Amen. And that's why a lot of people get in trouble. They want to say, all oh, the people are harsh. No, you didn't listen to the spirit of God. Amen. That goes for me and everybody else. Praise God. Mary Rose went to deliver a message to Elizabeth. Praise God. You know, according to the scripture that I read, John was the front runner for Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Elizabeth was having a son. His name was me, John. He was a front runner. He was the one that was pointing the wave that Jesus Christ was coming on the scene next. Can I get a witness? Amen. Praise God. John was brought up in a village just like Jesus was. You know, Jesus was brought up in a little village. Amen. Amen. And that's the same thing happened to John as we move on down in the scripture. Praise God. Verse 40, and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted or greeted Elizabeth. Amen. Praise God. Mary came into the house of Zacharias. Amen. The priest and Elizabeth, his wife. Amen. And look at verse 41. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation or the greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled, hallelujah, with the Holy Ghost. Let me say it again. And Elizabeth whew, was filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. And we see right here in verse 41, this was the power of God moving in this situation here. Amen. The power of God and was in Mary. Amen. Because Mary was filled with the Holy Ghost, as you remember this. Amen. And the Holy Ghost anointing was in her voice. As a witness to Elizabeth. Amen. And the baby was a witness when Mary had greeted Elizabeth. Can I go praise God? Amen. The baby did what? Leaped. How many of you know you can't leap without the Holy Ghost? Amen. That baby had the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost will make you do things like that, make you jump. And I said to you, I'll make you laugh. If I had a chandelier, I would hang on it. But I don't see one. <laughs> they can call me a holy roller. They can call me everything but a child of God. But I know who my God is. He's alive and he's a whale. He's a whale. Amen. He's not a man that he should lie. Praise God. And he should not repent because he hasn't done nothing wrong. Because God is a spirit. He don't lie. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And we see right here in verse 41 that the greeting was in the spirit. Mary spoke to her. Elizabeth, her cousin, amen. Praise God. And look what happened. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Verse 42. This is what Elizabeth said. And she spake out with a loud voice, my Jesus, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Amen. Elizabeth was speaking to Mary in the scripture, said, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Amen. Praise God. How many of you know Mary was carrying the Savior of the world? <laughs> People got to be very careful. They love going through abortions. And if we're going to change gears, 
Abortion is, in a, is just rampant. Killing babies left and right. How do we know what may become of a little child, a baby? How do we know what instrument God will have? Amen. And people are doing what? Killing babies. Time and time and time again. And we see it. That's a shameful thing. And that is going, I say to you, bring destruction in the United States. That's going to bring some destruction like in the days of Solomon and Gomorrah. When fire fell from heaven, amen, and burned that town up in the little surrounding cities. And let me tell you, Lot was not righteous as you thought. He was saved because he got snatched by Abraham. Snatched him out of there, saved him from burning up with the city with the rest of them. Amen. We have to be careful. We must listen to the voice of God. People, there's some instruments out here that are speaking the truth. Everybody's not a lie. God got some truthful people that are speaking the word of God. Amen? Amen. And we know, Pastor, we know we ain't the only church that speaks the truth. We know that. Because, you no, know, people, I think they may have us a little bit mixed up. We come in the love of Jesus Christ. We speak the, the word of love, but the word of God will not, we will not refrain from it. You know why? Because it's true. It's got to go out. It will accomplish that what God pleases. Amen. And that's what the scripture said. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me forth, but it shall accomplish. I mean, you know, it shall accomplish that which he pleased. Amen. And it shall prosper, be successful in the thing where unto he sent it. Amen. And I'm so glad about the word. And I'm telling you, I get into the word, man, and I just sing, can't get out of it sometimes. Just, I love that. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, sometimes and you pray and read, right, and study. But sometimes the word of God come on you so strong. You can't help but get in the word. Amen. And right then, you better, he didn't say pray. He said look in the word. <laughs> People get it mixed up. And when he said pray, we're supposed to pray. Amen. There's a time and season for everything. Amen. Under the sun. Amen. And let's move on down. I won't hold you there. My time is running out, but I must continue. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Verse 42. Elizabeth spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are thou Mary among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Verse 43. And whence is this to me, Elizabeth says, that the mother of my Lord should come to me. She was saying, Mary, you are going to bring forth a son and his name will be Jesus. He, Jesus, is my Lord and my Savior. Amen. How many of you have Jesus Christ and know he is your God and your Savior? Amen. He is Yahshua Jesus. Amen. He be the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. Amen. And we praise him. He's Alpha and Omega. Praise God. And you know one thing? When we trust in him, we win, we win, and we win. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 43, as we continue. Praise him. This word right here was from Elizabeth to Mary, signifying that the the Savior don't come into the world to save a world. How many of you know the first Adam just messed everything up? Amen. Destroyed everything. And sin was rampant. Amen. But Jesus Christ came to save the dying world. Praise God. As we move on down to verse 44. And lo, as soon as a voice of thou salutation sounded in my ears. That's what Elizabeth was saying. The babe leaped in my womb for joy. Amen. How many of you know that's joy in the Holy Ghost? That's peace in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And that is something to rejoice about. Praise God. Verse 43. And blessed is she that believe, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. This word of God have already come to pass. Can I get a witness? I mean, you know, the word of God, you don't have to worry about this scripture. It has already come to be. We don't have to worry about it. It's in the future no more. But it's already come to pass. Praise God. As we move on down, just a little bit farther. 
Look at verse 46. And Mary said, my soul woo, does magnify the Lord because it is fulfilled and some things are still not unfulfilled. Why, can, why do you say that? Because we still can do what? Magnify the Lord. That's why it's still unfulfilled. Amen? And that's a revelation from God. Amen? We still can praise him because God is great at all times. Can I get a witness? Let's move on down to verse 47. My spirit had rejoiced in God, my Savior. Amen. Praise God. Verse 48. For he had regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. And behold, look, from henceforth all generations shall be called blessed. Amen. Mary was just a handmaiden at one time. Amen. But we see in the scripture, she become more important than that. How many of you know Mary was a virgin that had never been with a man before? Amen. And that goes for today. And I will say it again. People, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. And it must be, and it should be, I say, used for the glory of God. Amen. Especially the believers of Jesus Christ. Especially the young boys and young men and young girls and young women. Amen. Keep yourself for the Lord. Amen. And for his use. Amen. And let all the side windows go by. <laughs> Anybody? Uh -oh. That is doing you won't do you any good. Tell him slide on by, slide on by, because my love is Jesus. Amen. How many faithful can you find in these last days that will have that type of testimony that I have kept myself for the Lord? Amen. And you know, people that have been. If keep being kept by God, have to be careful not to announce everything. The enemy is listening. And he will send out convoys, people, young people that will come at you, try to break your virginity. And I thank God for those that are strong in the Lord today that can resist the devil. Submit themselves to God. And resist the devil. And he will what? Flee from you. Amen. And we must also flee useful lust. And you know, it's a lot of that going on around the world. Amen. You just look on TV. <laughs> it's just like Sodom and Gomorrah. Every thought is evil continually. The commercials, I like to turn them off. How many, how, can I get a witness? Commercials. Sometimes, I know you want to put them on mute. That's good too. But if I could just turn it off, and if I could just turn the channel to the next channel, I'd be all right. Amen? Praise God. Oh, you know out on TV, you've seen that same thing. Amen? Commercial, come on. We don't want to hear about the embarrassing conditions y'all got. I ain't going to go there. Some things should stay in their place. And I know a long time ago, they did not do these type of commercials. Amen? <laughs> But that goes to show you what time we live in. That goes to show you we're in that evil day where everything goes. As long as I'm a movie star and I got all the money, ain't nobody can mess with me. How many of you know that's true? People that got money think they can't be touched. They think no one can send nothing to them. Amen. But we as believers know better. Amen. When God blesses us and he's going to pour out on us, some of us going to get poured out on. Some blessings poured out on you already. But I tell you the truth. I want you to know something. Rejoice. And I tell you, do not take pride. Let pride go away. Just say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Be it unto me. I thank you for it. I thank you, Lord, how you have kept me humble. You need to start confessing right now before you get your miracles. Amen. Confess now. Lord, I thank you for me being humble. Praise God. And Mary was in the scripture. Amen. As we move on down to the closing, praise God. We thank God for the word. 
She was a handmaid, and they called her probably a nobody. And you remember that song, I'm Just a Nobody. I'm going around telling everybody about somebody that can save everybody. And his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. This was a very, very outstanding announcement to know that Jesus Christ came on the scene after John the Revelator. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. John, he was a front runner for Jesus. Praise God. He said, I'll tell you the truth, John said, but I cannot stoop down or unloose the shoestrings. This Jesus, I come with baptism of water and things like that. But I'm going to tell you, Jesus Christ come with the fire. Baptized in the fire and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. Moving on down. God had regarded her. God looked at Mary regardless of what status she had. Amen. He looked at her, and that goes for us today, people. I don't care what people call you, and I say to you again. They say, well, you don't look like nothing, uh, and, and, and your stature is all out of proportions, and, and you don't look like no instrument in the hand of God. But people, continue. Don't let that bother you. Amen? Amen. And let the condemnation be on them, according to Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And I thank God for all the young people here today. Amen. You know, one thing. I'm glad because we're still growing. And didn't God move this morning in the program? Amen. Praise God. And we rejoice. Woo! Praise him. People, you may see us up here all calm right now. You all visited us in the morning early, earlier. And when we run, we jump, we trot, we run, shout, move, whatever. We take the tambourines and bang them a little bit. Amen? <laughs> and we, the drums are being beat up pretty good. Amen? And the keys on the keyboard are saying, ouch, because Sister Laura is going to put the herd on the keyboard. <laughs> Sister Laura is going to bring it every Sunday, by the grace of God. Those fingers, I know, sometimes they feel stiff. <laughs> but the anointing of God is in them. Praise God. <laughs> we are so glad that we have instruments in here. Praise God. That we can rejoice together. And I tell you, people, you don't want to miss this. This is something good in here. Praise God. We are here in formalism. We are rejoicing. Praise God. Let's move on. Praise God. <laughs> I just want to say that. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Look at verse 49. Excuse me. The latter part of 48. Behold, henceforth, all the generations will be blessed. Amen. Because they have the Son of God. Jesus Christ has straightened out all the crooked pathway. And I rejoice today. And I praise him. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. We got a few more scriptures to expound on. Look at verse 49. For he that is mightily have done to me great things, and holy is his name. Mary was rejoicing and praising God, and said, he, she was saying, holy is his name. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. Today and forever. Amen. Verse 50. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Jesus Christ, I have all respect for you, my Savior. How many of you know Jesus is not that baby no more? How many of you know that Jesus Christ is set on the right hand of God? And what his, is he doing? Making intercession for the believers of Jesus Christ, for the Christians, saints. Amen. Rejoice. We got somebody on our side that you will not beat. You can't beat him. He's the champions of all champions. Amen. Praise God. We thank God. Look at verse 51. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud. In the imagination of thy heart. How I many you know God will give you the strength that you need when you call on his name? Amen. So many people.
people forget to call on the name of the Lord. They want to wait till they get in trouble. Then they want to go running and screaming. God, can you help me? Can you help me? You need to call on him right now. While everything is going good. Amen? While you feel that things are going all right. Amen? Praise God. We need to rejoice. And that is paving the way for our future. Amen? Praise God. When we rejoice now, God is showing us that he was already taking care of our situation. Amen? Praise God. As we move on. We are blessed today, people. We rejoice. His arm, his right hand, which represents power. Amen. His arm of protection, amen, is all around his believers. How many of you know the angels of the Lord and camp around about them that fear him? and deliver them amen and we thank God for how he sent messages to us time and time again and what is the name of our subject an outstanding announcement praise God and we thank God for Jesus Christ and we thank you for listening to part two an outstanding announcement